Hey everybody, welcome back to Kumasau Reviews. What we have here is one that I had highly anticipated. It is the SDCC 2016 exclusive version of the True Force Collectibles Mega Man X. This is the X Boost Edition. You see the others in the background there. I actually have two of these guys. One is still MISB. Got it hanging out in the back just so you can see how it looks. Open box. Produced by Sentinel, so it does have the really cool box style. Of course, this is a 6 inch figure. And we're not going to do a traditional review where we go through everything, but show you what's up here. Fourth repaint. So it comes with everything that the previous versions did. So blast accessories, back thrusters, open hands, and the open mouth face. All right. As well as, of course, his buster arm. And you can see over on the right hand side, I don't go over it, but the stand. Alright. There we go. And those are the accessories that he comes with. Now, just going ahead and giving you guys a good old top down, down, top to bottom, bottom to top view. A little bit of pan action there. See how it looks? Exact same molding as the other ones. Now we're just doing a roundabout here. But I will say this is the deco that I'm actually most impressed by. I echo this in my written review as well. Something about the art style, the version KE, of this Mega Man just... It works for this full armor deco because of the stylization to it and stuff like that. Now we have all four side by side. Going left to right, we have the Test Color X. This is the gray prototype version. Kickstarter exclusive, of course. X Boost, which we're reviewing today. X. And then the X Kai over on the right. And that would definitely be my second favorite right up there with the X Boost. Now just panning again. Left to right. Close-ups of all of them. I love the marking on the X Kai face. Alright. Good shot of the backside there. Instead of going through the whole posability, we're actually just going to go through step by step getting him into a pose because it shows off a lot of his features the interchange parts and things like that. So we're getting those thrusters put on the back. Pop the panels on, pop the thrusters on. Easy stuff. Getting the leg thrusters shown there. Folding up a panel. And he does have die casts in his chest, his legs, and the soles of his feet. So pretty cool stuff. Very weighty. Just a standard running pose. Show off some of that thrust action there. Or dash even. We're going to keep going with these accessories. We're getting the face changed out here. And I will say everything on this nice, tight, friction holds well and things like that. Honestly, the only problem I've had on any of them, my Test Color X, a Kickstarter exclusive, the Buster Arm didn't hold on quite as tight as the other ones. It wasn't loose by any means, but it just didn't have that pop-on, like, snap tightness that the others had. But just like the others, the, it's the exact same face that comes with three out of four of these. Pop that on. Man, I tell you, if they had the crusted helmet from the full armor, I this would just be a dead-on full armor deco. I, I would love it. Okay. Now the hands are on ball joints. They just pop on, pop off. Simple stuff. Make sure you pop it on tight. Right. Going to get the buster arm put on there. No idea why I went ahead and took the fist off first we're taking the whole forearm off so again that just pops off right. male end on the elbow female end on the forearm and that's why you need to put it on tight that hand again just get them into an okay-ish pose 
And one thing to note about this guy, even though I don't necessarily show him off, the shoulders, hips, and ankles, they all have extension points, so you can get extra articulation out of them. It's a really well done figure. But like I said, this is the fourth time reviewing the same figure, so pretty much streamlining this guy. Want to show him off, but not really get redundant. As I sit here and fiddle and figure out. Show off the light there. Just turn the front part of the buster there. Really bright LED. I love it. I like it quite a bit. And there you have it. I got him into a bit of a better buster shot pose. Get that light turned off there. And we're going to show the blast accessories. Buster shot, whatever you want to call it. And there's a basic shot. Add a flare to the end. And there are ridges in the front of the buster. That's how these hold on. They're formed to the little grooves. Right. There's a charge shot. I like that he could still hold it, even without the stand. But, just like the other three, the three buster parts can combine. There's this little piece here pegs in. Front part of the basic buster shot comes out. It's an L-shaped peg. It pegs together. That front part on there. And I don't know why I had such a hard time when that front part was on. The flare part. Getting the blast effects on or the buster shots. But now it's easy as pie. Maybe that comes from doing it four times. Four figures. I don't know. But there you have it. One final shot of True Force Collectible, Mega Man X Boost. Again, this was an SDCC 2016 exclusive version, sold at the Bluefin booth, booth 401. But Kickstarter backers actually have an opportunity to buy this, and True Force is going to send a link out shortly, according to their Facebook as well. But again, this has been another Kumasau review. Full pictorial, some of my better work, I'd say, on kumastyle.com. So go ahead and check it out. Link will be in the description. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram as well. See you next review.